Hello, good morning and welcome. I hope you're well and um, I hope the week's starting well for you. And um, just here we've, we've got a bit of better weather at last. Oh, thank goodness we've got some, some better weather. So, and I've just been out this morning and the cow parsley is starting to come out into bloom. And there's absolutely masses and masses and masses of um, cow parsley out now. So it's at, at last we can start doing something with cow parsley. And um, so what I wanted to do this week is I'm gonna do a three part mini series um, and we're gonna make a wildflower meadow um, with forage wildflowers. And so I've, I've come up with an idea that something that anybody can do, you don't have to have special flower skills or anything like that, is anybody can do that. It's, it's we're gonna make a wildflower meadow. So um, I'm just looking here to see, um, excuse me, I'm, I'm, I've got another phone here because I can't read what's on the screen. So I, d I can't see um, if anybody's if anybody's on the call. So I've got another 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 phone here, and um, I'm I'm hoping um, it's going to allow me to. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> is it? Yes. It is right. Oh, okay, so so th so there we are. Right. Sorry about that. A little bit just um, uh, that. Oh, we've got a time lapse. Sorry, that's that's a bit of a distraction there. Right. Okay. So um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do a wildflower meadow this week. Um, I'm going to use a cardboard box, and um, this is a decoupage box. That there's this hobby thing going where people make um. Get these boxes and they, they stick um, sort of like paper patterns and stuff on it and it's decoupage and th these are quite widely available now i got this on amazon it was only a couple of pounds made of cardboard and so i think that's a really good good plant container and what we're going to do is is take a a, a, a box a square rect uh, sorry, a square a rectangular box like that and the put jam jars inside it to to hold the plant material so um yeah, so it's to look for a box that's got nice straight sides because with the cow pass, it's all going to be quite sort of straggly and sort of going everywhere. So um, having, having something with nice straight sides it, and a, a sort of a nice square geometric shape, it should make it look sort of more neat and, and tidy. So something with nice straight sides. Um, and so I've got a, a hat box that, that would e equally do, do well. It's got nice square, square sides, so you could use a hat box. Um, and I've or a shoe box. I've got a shoe box here you could use. And this is getting a bit bigger here, but the trouble with this one is that perhaps the colour isn't very suitable. But if you've got a shoe box, you could use one of those. Um, I've got a tissue box here, not a very pretty one, but sometimes tissue boxes are, are quite sort of um, are, are quite you know you have quite quite nice attractive boxes. So you could use, use a tissue box if you wanted. And I've got this little sort of wooden tray. I'm quite keen on that. That might might, might be quite nice. Um, uh, but the, the, the problem is the bigger you go, the more plant material you're going to have to, to use. So so um, I'm sort of thinking twice about that. A small container is, is going to make be um, um, a lot, lot easier. Um, and I've even got here a, a vegetable box. So you could, could use a, a vegetable box, but th this is going to make a, a really huge huge design but it's got nice green on the side so that make, make quite a nice container so you don't have to worry about it being waterproof because we're going to put jam jars in so you just want some jam jars that are going to come up to the rim of the box it doesn't want to go above the top it can go a little bit underneath but just fill enough to fill this up with lots of small jam jars so don't want a um a, a big you know, not, not like a bowl or anything like that, but lots of little things. So jam jars are absolutely ideal. And I've got these little, these had, had uh, dried herbs in. They, these are really good. They're nice, nice and small. What else did I find? Um, a shampoo container cut down. So we're just sort of packing them in to fill all the different spaces. And um, there's this one that had some uh, jar of anchovies. That, that's a really, really good container. Um, or you could use um, like a UHT long life. This is, you know, soya cream. You could use that, cut it down to the right height. So that make a nice, nice li little square container. I've got some uh, tofu there. Show it's showing my vegan. Not that I'm vegan. <laughs> I'm 
vegan foods. So some tofu there, but but cut that down. So so anyway, so over the next few days, if you'd like to, I'd invite you to, to collect some containers and um, fill up your box. And then in a couple of days, I'll, I'll come on again um, and we'll talk about collecting the plant material, which of which there, there is absolutely loads at the moment. So you need the box and the jam jars, and then also some, some, some we're doing the mechanics really today, some, some sort of flex, something nice and flexible that we're gonna to use to do the mechanics. So I've got a piece of ivy here, and I should have used it to make a flower crown. Um, on Sunday, everyone was making flower crowns, but some, some flexible, some, some, you know, some tweaks or something like that. And I've got some, some hawthorn here um, that, that's, you know, nice and flexible. And we're going to use that to, to support the plant, the, the plant material. So that's it, really. That, that's all, all there is, is to it. We've just, just, um, yeah, so a box and some jam jars and then um, we'll make a wildflower meadow out of forage plant material well thank you for for being here and uh hope you have a good week and i'll catch up with you in a couple of days okay bye for now then bye bye